Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is to print Fibonacci series. So with the help of this comment, you can see the objective of the program is written here. And you can also see the Fibonacci series which is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. So what will be the next term? It will be 13. So the concept of series uh, is uh, if we add two numbers, then we can find out the next uh, possible number. So that's why if I add 5 and 8, so next possible number will be 13. Then uh, I have included header file stdr.h which is for printf and scanf. Then main function, it con contains several instructions in which first is variable declaration. Here additional variables are t, t1 and t2 and i and, n, I and n is for uh, uh, other task. So a printf statement, it will display enter a number on console. Then this scanf function will read that, num that number and that number will be stored inside the n variable. Now this for loop will be uh, uh, calculating the uh, different different terms of Fibonacci series. So uh, I have started this loop uh, from 1 and uh, the condition is i less than equals to n. So this loop will repeat n times. So if suppose uh, a value of n is 5, so this loop will repeat 5 times. Now I am taking n as 5 and initially we have t uh, 0, t1 is 1 and t2 is also 0. So uh, at the time of uh, first iteration of this for loop, this printf will print the value of t. So here I am I am writing the output. So first time 0 will be printed on console, then t1 plus t2 will take place. So t1 is 1 and t2 is 0. So addition is 1. So it will assign into t. Then t2 will assign its value into t1. So t2 is 0. So t1 also becomes 0 and t is 1. So t2 will also become 1. So this is the first rotation of for loop. Now i++ plus plus will take place. So i becomes 2. Now t will print its current value. It is 1. So it will print 1 here. Then t1 plus t2. So t means 1. t2 will be assigned into t1. So now t2 is 1. So t1 will become 1 and t will be assigned into t2, t is 1, so t2 will also become 1. So this is the second rotation of the loop, then i++ will take place, now current value of i is 3, then condition is true. Now t will be printed on console, so currently t is 1, so it will print 1 on console, then t1 plus t2, so t becomes 2, then t2 assign its value into t1. So it will remain 1, then t will assign its value into t2, so t2 becomes 2. So uh, third rotation is completed, now i++ plus plus, uh, i becomes 4, condition is again 2, t will print its value, it is 2, so uh, t will print 2 on console. Then t1 plus t2, so t1 is 1 and t2 is 2. So the current value of t will be 3. Then t2 will assign its value into t1. So t1 will become 2 and t will as assign its value into t2. So t2 will become 3. Now uh, this is the uh, fourth rotation. Now i++ plus plus will take place. i becomes 5. Again this condition is true. Now t will print its value on console, currently t is 3, so it will print 3 on console. Now t1 plus t2 will take place, so t becomes 5. t2 will assign its value into t1, so t2 is 3, so t1 also becomes 3. Uh, three. Then t will assign its value into t2, so t2, uh, sorry t is 5, so t2 becomes 5. So uh, this is the uh, last rotation of this loop because uh, uh, n uh, contains 5 and we have performed all 5 operations. Now you can check this output 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. 
with the comment which I have mentioned uh, in the first line of this program. So now I am going to compile this program so that we can execute it. Oh, now first I have to remove these statements because these statements are not the part of this program. So again I am compiling this code. It is showing number of errors and warnings which are zero. Now I can successfully uh, sorry run it. Suppose I have entered 5. So you can see that the output is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3 which is uh, similar to this uh, comment statement. I can run this program again. Suppose I entered 10. So you can see 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34. You can pick any number. The uh, number you picked, it is the sum of its previous two numbers. So uh, this is the concept of Fibonacci series. You can also implement this program on your laptop or desktop so that you can understand the concept well. Now it's time about uh, my information. This is my contact number. This is my email ID. You can mail any difficult topic so that I can uh, make a video for that topic for you. This is my website. You can also download my uh, Android app which is TechMS. It contains tutorials of C, C++, Java, Web Tech, Ethical Hacking, etc. You can download these PPTs uh, from tutorials.techmas.in also if you do not have Android phone. You can read my books uh, which I have authored. You can view uh, more tutorials regarding uh, other programming languages uh, by following this YouTube channel. So uh, uh, do uh, practice a uh, lot and lot so that you can understand the concepts well. Thank you for watching this video.